This is the first in a series of videos that have envisaged for some time. The use of sound, music and its visual aspects have been thought through to bring a calming and relaxing effect on the viewer, promoting a sense of escapism from the stresses and strains of daily life. So sit back and immerse yourself in the landscapes I've been lucky enough to spend some time in over the last week. And at the end, I'll talk through what I've shot and the challenges I've had along the way. So I just want to add some thoughts really on what it's been like shooting these videos over the last few days here in North Norfolk. I think the first thing to mention is it's been really, really difficult in regard to the time of day I've had to get up. So I've had two alarms at five past three and one at 10 to three in order to, to get to where I wanted to be in time. And I think that's one of the things I need to look at with, with regard to my planning really, because we have a base and everywhere I've been from that base has been sort of 
30 to 45 minutes in different directions and because of that I don't get to see enough of of a place to get a feel for it so the locations I've been to over the last three days so Happisburg, Thurn and Wells next to the sea. I've not been to any of those places before um, I didn't have a chance to scope any out and when you when you're there for a sunrise it's not like you can get there much earlier and, and get a feel for the location so that's been really tricky to just turn up at these spots and just photograph or video them and Another thing that stems from that is doing photo and video at the same time. So whenever I've been away before, I've really liked to concentrate on photography. Uh, that, that's really all I've done. But because of doing these videos and because of what I'm trying to achieve, I really wanted to make video the focus of this. And I found that very difficult. I found it really difficult to concentrate on video primarily and not think about taking nice images of the places I've been as well. So. That's, that's been really tricky to get my head around and I think that's going to take quite a lot of work because I am a photographer at heart and that, that's what I like to do. I like to, to record images rather than video so trying to change my mindset in that way is, is going to be difficult and probably take a little bit of getting used to. So yeah it's been a difficult few days shooting from a, a tiredness perspective and a knowing the locations perspective as well and conditions as well. The last couple of days we've not had a cloud in the sky but today at uh, Wells Next to Sea it's kind of the opposite really. There's, there's quite a lot of cloud. I mean there's, there's been enough gap to let some light through which has been really beneficial and obviously you've seen from the video and, and images that, that that's worked but conditions haven't been ideal. Sunsets have been better but given that the, the, the holiday is primarily a family thing getting out for sunset is a lot more difficult than getting out for sunrise. With regards to shooting, I feel like the vastness of, of Norfolk really lends itself well to the drone footage. So most of the stuff I've got has been from the drone. I've concentrated primarily on that because not only do you get a better sense of, of the expanse of the location with the drone stuff, but I think you can also use it to capture more viewpoints in, in less time. Um, some people might think that's lazy, but realistically, the good light and the good conditions don't last very long so you need to be able to move really quickly and you, you can't move any quicker than a drone so I think the drone's been really useful and I don't think the video would, would have been anywhere near the same without it just the static images from the camera would have taken me a lot longer to do and I don't think the, the footage would have been as compelling so the drone's really um, really enabled this to, to kind of take shape in the way that I wanted um, I don't think it's perfect, I think there's there's a lot of, of way to go in this series, I need a name for a start, but it is something I want to continue with, it's an idea that's kind of been brewing around in my head for, for a while now, um, I had a bit of a chat with some friends about it and I think adding this bit at the end um, was my, my friend Paul's idea, a um, bit like Planet Earth and uh, explaining the shot, it's nothing like Planet Earth but the same concept where I talk through what I've done in the video at the end and, and try and let some of the footage speak for itself a little bit early on. Um, that's been the idea behind them. Hopefully I'll be able to continue with them but I might need a bit of a rethink on, on how they're structured. Um, I think I'm very wary of, of them not being as long as I want but you just need that time in a location and when you're like I say on a family holiday it's difficult to achieve. But I do have another couple of um, couple of things planned and I can try and do a similar thing closer to home, I think, and that'll give me that bit more time to just build up a, a good bank of varied footage to, to show you. So hopefully it'll be something that continues and improves in the future. I've learned a lot from doing this the last few days. Um, I've learned how well I can function on four hours sleep as well, but I think that's going to hit me particularly on the drive back up to Manchester tomorrow. As ever, I really appreciate everyone that, that's watched this. Um, glad it's been a bit different in the last couple of videos and hopefully sets the tone for, for what's to come in the future. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.